Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm going to be replacing a door speaker on a third gen RAM. Now my reason for replacing that speaker is that speaker is not working. Rest of my speakers and the other doors they all function but this one has quit. Fairly common on these RAMs for the factory speakers to go out. So we'll go ahead and upgrade at least that one and, and see how that works first with an aftermarket speaker. Now this truck does have the Infinity system in it, so there's actually three speakers up on top of the dash. There's six by nines in the doors, and I believe either either a half, a five and a half inch, or even, they even might be the six by nines in the back doors, also being the Mega Cab. Um, so let's go ahead and open up this door and replace the speaker. It's fairly easy to do. You do have to remove this door panel. There is a Phillips screw here, right in the center here, behind the door handle. This door handle will also need to be removed. There is a 10 millimeter screw back here, right behind the door handle. We'll go ahead and remove that. We will remove another Phillips screw here. That'll pop this piece out. That's for the mirror, where the mirror mounts to the door. Um, also, you will have to remove your master window switch here. Now in my case, I've glued it since it was missing tabs, so I'm going to try to remove the whole panel without removing the door switch out of the panel. I'm thinking once I get the, the panel off of the door, I should be able to go behind it and disconnect that switch and leave it in the panel. So let's go ahead and start moving all the screws here. Also two more Phillips screws at the bottom of the door panel. You can see one here and one here. We'll go ahead and get those off. So we have the door handle off again, 10 millimeter bolt here behind it. Phillips screw here, Phillips screw here. Take a small screwdriver and pry up on this button by the door lock. And that should pull up just like that. Once you have all your screws off, all you really need to do is, is lift up on the door panel, kind of like so. And that'll separate from the door just like that. Again, being that my switch panel here is glued to the door panel, I will try to reach behind it now and see if I can unplug that so we can completely separate this panel. So I was able to disconnect the window switch here from these connectors and leave the switch on to the door, door panel. And now the door panel is completely separated from the door, exposing our speaker, which is right in the front here. There is four Phillips screws holding this speaker in, two up top, two at the bottom. We'll go ahead and remove those screws. Once those screws are off, you should be able to pull the speaker from the door. There is an electrical connector behind it. We'll go ahead and disconnect that. Here is our speaker removed from the, from the door and the connector. And here is the replacement that I'll be using. This is a four-way, meaning it has two midway and a tweeter with it built in. It's not the best you can get, but it's something I have laying around for different projects. So I'll go ahead and use this. Now, most of your 6 by 9s just aren't going to fit in the door the way they are. Sometimes the cages are different, so you want to be very careful with, uh, with the speakers you choose. I have upgraded quite a few third gen, so I can recommend some speakers that do work and they fit. Uh, another issue you will run into is the connectors. Most of your aftermarket ones have connectors like these. Bigger one's positive, smaller one is negative. On most of them, as you can see, your factory speaker uh, has a different type of a connector. Now, a couple options you have you can cut this connector off, solder it onto your new speaker or you could just cut the connector in the door and use some type of a, a butt connectors like I have here and you can put those on your new speaker and that's the route I'll be going another thing on your factory speaker here what you will need is this tray behind the speaker kind of clips on with these tabs we'll be putting that onto our new speaker that's the only way it's actually going to give the uh, clearance to fit properly where it should. Now, these won't fit all the speakers 
I had to cut a couple of these prongs that were sticking out on this to make it fit this new speaker here. Looking at the door here, this is this is our, our original connector that was going to the speaker. I've already cut one of the wires and put a spade connector on it. Um, now there is a negative and positive on these. This wire here, which is green with a yellow stripe, that's actually your negative, and your other wire, which is also green but it has a like a light blue stripe in it, that's your positive. Uh, so choose the connections you want to make. And let's get this new speaker in and then we'll go ahead and test it. I have the new speaker mounted in where it should be with that plastic tray from the old original speaker fitting be behind this new speaker. It goes exactly where the factory speaker was and it fits perfectly. There's no interference or anything like that. Uh, so I've tested it. It works perfect. Actually it works better than the other side now. So I might replace the passenger side also since I have a set of these. Um, so now we're ready to go ahead and put the put the door panel back on it. I went ahead and cleaned the door panel from both sides. So remember, it's just these hooks that catch onto the holes. Those hooks catch into these holes in the door itself. So you're going to set it there, line those up, and push the door panel down to lock it in. And then we'll go ahead and get all the screws back in. So I was able to complete the same process on the passenger side door here. I replaced that speaker the same way. Works out great. Everything works perfectly as it should. At least I have speakers on all four doors now. Uh, the next thing will be I will be upgrading this uh, this head unit. Um, this does have the Uconnect system right in the mirror too, right with it. That definitely needs to be upgraded. So that's going to be the next step and maybe we'll uh, upgrade all the speakers when we do the head unit. I will leave some parts in the description if you are looking to upgrade your speakers. Um, there are some JBLs that I personally like to use in these, in these uh, third gens. They work well, everything fits. Remember the front speakers are different than the rears size wise. Um, and I will leave all that in that description for you. So if you are looking to upgrade speaker the head unit system i will leave those in the description thank you for watching